Welcome to this overview of structured data within the search appearance sidebar of Google Webmaster Tools. So structured, so structured data is a reasonably, uh, is a reasonably unknown concept. Basically, it's code which, which you put into your website to determine where it is, uh, your business, what the web page is about, and basically information about your organization. Now, what we've done is we've put it in, we're using code which we developed. We're gonna put that code below so it's nice and clear what you can do to put in your own code and you just need to change a few certain things. It's very hard to kind of describe it because structured data is, it's really just sort of making your website known to search engines beyond its content, beyond, you know, its images. What is your website actually about? Where is it? What's its address? what sort of work does it do what kind of reviews do you have you can create all this with structured data it's kind of like html text that is supposed to represent this all uh, 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 whether or not it's that effective in google we don't know but uh, it's good just to have it google recognizes it google sees it we've put it on our footer um so there's a lot of pages that that talk about the organization and they talk about the web page it's itself. The website isn't on the footer, um, but it's on four pages. So basically, this is just going to be included uh, below uh, with uh, with a separate link to a page which is which is dealing with in depth uh, schema data. So you can you can uh, stru well, sorry structured data. So you can make your own choices there and put it in for your website if you want to. Uh, but but for now, that's all we'll talk about because it really needs a much sort of larger page, which we've already created. So we'll see you soon in that. And the next thing we'll talk about is the rich card structure. Thanks. So rich cards, like structured data, are relatively new to Google Webmasters. And basically, if you have a website which is about events or products, or some sort of interactive uh, medium. What most websites are that will be uh, following these videos are just like not we're well, not just but a small business web design sort of focused and not so much into uh, up to date live live in well, live event information. So we're just leaving the rich cards for now because it's not something that we specialize in. We don't want to give the wrong advice. Uh, but if you do want to know more about it, we've got some very useful links below, uh, which will help you out. And we have looked into it and s selected these links. Uh, yeah, so that's that's our overview of rich cards right of right now. Now we'll move on to data highlighter. So the next thing we're going to look at is something called the data highlighter. This largely concerns products and making sure your website properly presents the products that you have available. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going we're to click on data highlighter and for some reason it's being a bit finicky. Okay, normally it would show you a summary but it's not doing that right now. So let's just go to start highlighting and you can basically select right what are you highlighting in your information so is it going to be articles book reviews events local businesses movies products restaurants software applications or tv episodes so people largely looking up stuff want to know uh the most relevant information so google sort of it, this is a manual addition to the google search engine where if you're a local business or a, you have a movie to promote or something like that, then all this information will be kind of, well, I wouldn't say prioritized in Google, but more kind of aimed at Google. So type of information that you're in, to highlight, I'd click on local businesses right there. Basically it's telling you, it comes up with your, so it comes up with your website URL standard. And then you can say, you can say tag this page and others like it. Uh, sorry, that hasn't worked. I've got to go and actually manually post it in, so we'll do that. And then if I go there, and it should 
load up the screen, which has got four dots along it. Yep, fine. So we're not going to do this uh, too intensely, but I'll show you an example of how it works. And so the idea here is to just tag your content like you would on any sort of social media channel. But I mean, don't go all out with a spammy approach. If you're not, you know, if it's not really relevant, then don't put it in there. So what I would do is I would go to the footer and I'd select this. And what I would do oh, after I've done that is I would go right actually sorry let's go a bit better here so that would be the telephone number telephone that's what we call there and then the name oh, I'm just going to put web design Sydney sorry it's a bit name and then I would go sweet deal Sydney address and then what else have we got uh, so if we yeah, there's a web design agency so if we click on web design agency there should be something um, sorry web design agency address open department category actually if I just go web design ugh. I go category. So this is basically what you can do. Now you can see a lot of different ways to do it, ways to, to tag it. But um, this is just more if you have products or if you have a service where you have reviews, you, you can get into this more. But I mean, really, you just want to kind of tag your most common things and then push save there that so it's got all the the things here that will shown up um, we don't really need a department we just need we just need the telephone that's fine and we don't need a review or we don't need reviewers that's no problem at all so if I actually click on that you can probably know it's not going to show up as the URL so that's fine so I just go if I push done and then create a similar page set find local local uh, web design Sydney this is the more relevant so create that page set create page set from selected pages now it's going to sell you to tag more examples so just continuing on with the structured data, sorry, with the overall, this with the overall data highlight, with the with the data highlighter, um, you can go through here and you'll get some errors show up. So the name of it, it's best just to, there you go, name, and then the address is there telephone is going to be there um, it's really annoying um, telephone okay it's fine just get rid of that category it really is annoying that they don't the web design it's category that's fine so next and you can just go through all the so you can go through all the pages there um, the category is web design 
so if it's hopefully it's included there web design sydney you can go category so it gets more it basically gets better as you go in for it and then the next example yep yeah, it looks good that's fine and then So, business. Uh, okay, it's got the old um, footer. It's okay. Uh, name. So that's gonna change. Um, I'm just gonna put the address as uh, this one here. Phone as that there telephone. That's fine. Category is that. If we go web design, category that's fine. So we can go done just make sure continue reviewing so you can you can carry on here um web design category boosting that's obviously not going to be right so it's getting everything apart from web design annoyingly just on there so we'll go category web design no is it no okay so this is going to go on for a while um so once you've got that then you just push submit um so i'm not going to do anything more on that um but then you would just you would just push publish based on this information looks pretty fine um, not sure about that one no it seems fine can we boost it and we can get rid of that um, if I just go web design and I just click design category fine so now I can push submit if I go up there done and hopefully it's picked up a pattern oh, sorry and then it's published so web design sydney that's picked it up and then the about section so that's kind of just what is it's more localized the website uh the next thing we'll do is the html improvements now this is a good one um so the duplicate meta descriptions and the duplicate title tags you want to kind of minimize these so we've got a couple of er a few errors here which we can easily fix so the duplicate title tags um we've got some pages here which conflict so we've got that page and that page has the same title tags these blogs which have all been i think deleted um but let's just let's just go and have a look at that see if that has been deleted yeah that has but it's still showing up as a category kind of annoying so they all have the same thing which can't really do much about that and then um so yeah so what you can do is you can just change the title tags and change the meta descriptions where you've got you know various websites and you're just being like oh i just put in the 
I'll put in the same meta description. So this one's saying that the accounts one is the same as your website hosting, um, which would make sense. It looks as though it's two similar pages, and the, although we do use them for different purposes. And then it says the home page here is similar to the refer sort of referral a w a p which is I'm not entirely sure about that but that can be looked into but for sure you can get rid of these two basically i don't know if this affects google at all nobody like your google ranking but it's good just to kind of make sure that all your pages have separate descriptions and separate titles it just makes the navigation a bit nicer for uh, for people if they're looking around it and it just makes the website also look a bit more structured and a little, a little bit more organized. So that's that there. And then lastly, the site links. Um, so the site link here is, a, is just a summary of links that show up when, when you search for something. So if I search right now and I go Web Design Sydney, then the results here, so you can see us number five. Normally you get some site links built in for weirdly enough you haven't. Let me just check another keyword. Yes, so that's an example of site links where the, where Google's brought those up and been like, right, we're going to put those in for um, as site links to make it more navigatable. So if you type in web design, then like a wide range of a wide range of links will show up. Um, and normally that's just positioned for the first website in the list. Um, so anyway, that's if that does happen to you, and it really is quite rare. It happens to websites in general. You can do work for it, but it is quite tricky. Then if you don't like your site links, you can actually demote them by just putting in the URL and then you say demote this site link. So for the search result, if you're doing the home page, then we don't want, and then you can put in that. But that really is only a problem when, you're, when your website's properly established, so I wouldn't worry about that too much. Lastly, there's the accelerated mobile pages. This is a brand new uh, section, and this is going to be covered separately. Um, so for now for now we do, for now we don't have these accelerated mobile pages so there's nothing to fix um, but we are going to create a separate topic on that so thanks for watching this video I know it's quite lengthy um, but the structure of it really is just to make sure that you've got the right code for the, uh, you've got the right code for your structured data and you've got uh, and you can highlight some information, you can make sure that your meta tags and your title descriptions are fine, and you can remove any site links should that be a problem and you don't want them showing up in, Go and you don't want them showing up in Google. Thanks very much, we'll be looking at the disavow thing next, and uh, yeah, thanks very much for your attention, cheers.